Hi, I'm Jessica Fine, and I'm using Old Holland um, New Master paints. Uh, they're acrylic paints, and um, they're uh, thick as the as oils, and I'm going to use them as if they were oils. So um, I have an image here that I'm using just for the, the simplicity, um, and it is a building in Italy. Um, with sky and water and cliffs in the background and foliage in the front. So I will proceed. I think the first thing I want to do is put in my darks. So um, I try to use as big a brush as possible to make it loose, keep it loose. And I'm going to uh, pull up some greens and I have a green number and I'm using green number and I'm going to sort of neutralize it with um, burnt umber so I have a warm and I have a cool and maybe a little touch of blue here and that would probably be a cobalt blue a little bit more blue I want it as neutral as dark as I can get maybe I'll pull, pull in a little red that would be a cadmium medium now it's getting too warm so i'll bring back the greens okay that looks pretty good pretty neutral some of this is foliage the darkest part of the foliage and some of this is shadow so i will delineate the foliage later just get my darks in here it's a charming place it was in sorrento and I was sitting on the wharf, looking into the water and watching the children play. And I turned around and I saw this mansion and I thought, oh, I'm moving to Italy and I'm going to buy a mansion just like this one, in my fantasy, of course. This paint mixes very nicely. I know it looks like dots and dashes at the moment, but it will all come together. And I think I'm going to put the sky in only because it's the biggest area in the painting. Touch more of each of these. I've got a cerulean and I've got a cobalt blue. I'm not using any medium other than just the strict paint. I'm just going to quickly put this in. I can play with clouds later. This paint is re re works very nicely. It's really pleasant to work with. And it's efficient. Now I'm working on a regular canvas stretched canvas. You can work on board, you can work on paper with this paint. It, it really, there are a lot of substrates that it works well with. So there's no smell to this paint. That's the joy of it, working with this instead of oils. There's no odor. There's no um, turpentine, linseed oil, or any other kind of oil that needs to be used. Um, it just is a very direct approach and very easy. Okay, so I've got somewhat of a sky in there. Hi, I'm Jessica Fine and we're back. I've been painting for about 45 minutes with the uh, Old Holland New Masters Acrylics and um, I'm enjoying them. They're, they don't dry quickly uh, as most acrylics do. They're thicker. Um, I'm, I'm having, I'm able to get an impasto effect. Uh, I'm looking for more of that as I paint. So, um, I'm going to go into the background. Uh, there's a cliff in the back and I'm going to mix up some paint for that. And, um, and my paints are still here. I've sprayed a few times to keep them moist and, uh, the paints are wonderful. I'm really enjoying them. Go over some of these cliffs. and pull in some of this sandy cliff color.
I love layering, so this works very well for me. And the paint is thicker than any acrylic I've worked with, which is very nice. I'm just loving this paint. It's really terrific. It's so nice to be able to just clean up with water. Just gorgeous colors. I think that this paint is quite unique in that it doesn't dry. It's still moist. Well, I've been painting for 45 minutes at least, and the colors, as you see, are as fresh as when I started. It's quite something. The white is as creamy as, as it can be. It's just delightful. There's a juiciness to this paint that just is so appealing. I mean, I can go on and on with layer after layer after layer, which I can't do with regular acrylics. It just sort of doesn't work for me. But these old Holland uh, new masters are just wonderful. So we've got some wonderful greens here. Um, we have uh, green umber and uh, sap green, and um, they're just a, just besides the raw umbers and the browns, it's just fabulous. These colors are great. It just brings back so many nice memories. I can I can mix up the colors so quickly. Yeah, I'm going to put a little uh, some dark yellow greens in here. Liven this up a little bit. It dries quickly, but not too quickly. I would never be able to work with oils the same way because I'd have to wait for the layers to dry. And, and here I find that I have just enough, it's just perfect because it's just enough time to put in what I need to put in. And then I, it, it does dry and then I can put this the next layer on and it's a real time saver. The nice thing is that I can layer and layer and layer and it gets an impasto look which you can only get with most oils. Hi, we're back. Um, my name is Jessica Fine again. I'm uh, working with a with Old Holland New Master Acrylics, which I love. I'm enjoying them thoroughly. I'm able to do both glazing and impasto work. The paints aren't dry. I've sprayed a few times, sprayed water on them, um, and they're fine. And I've been painting for a long time, so about an hour, hour and a half now. And um, I'm putting second coats on some of the areas, and I'm finding I can get that impasto look that I love. Um, it's just a delight. The paint is great. It's thick enough. It's thin enough. It's everything I want. The things, the things that I can do with oils I can do with this. This painting hasn't taken me that long to do. I'm just amazed. I'm not a quick painter. And I've got a the basis for the painting in just one session. So this is very exciting. So I thank you.